a requested video, a little bit about how I grew up. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give a little history on myself, my family growing up, and where I came from, and things like that. Now, this video was requested by three people. All three of these people happen to have YouTube channels. The first one is Anne, and she's from Minimalism by Anne. Then there's Julia from Julia's B Beauty, and Jackie from Jackie Naturals. All three of these girls are lovely. Jackie is so vibrant and bubbly, and I just love her excitement about everything. Julia, she gives great reviews, does wonderful makeup tutorials, does unboxings, and she is just a doll, just a darling girl. And then there's Anne. Anne's channel is about minimalism, and she tells how to live as a minimalist and what you may want to spend money on and how you can save money and give some great tips. Well, I put out a video, a YouTube shorty, a few weeks ago, taking requests, asking people, what would you like to see on my channel? And all three of these girls asked for kind of the same thing. A, a little bit about my background, where I came from, do I have brothers and sisters, and just to get to know me better. <laughs> so I'll start by where I was born. That was in Wheeling, West Virginia. I lived there until I was 12. Then we moved to Pennsylvania, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. That's about 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh. It's western Pennsylvania. So those are the two states that I grew up in. Now I had a mom and a dad, and I have a brother and a sister. My brother is three years younger than me, and my sister is three years older than me. So yeah, I'm that middle child. <laughs> you know that middle child? <laughs> what they say about the middle child is really true. I can vouch for that. My sister and brother were close. Even though there was a six-year age gap, they were close because my sister did her own thing. She really lived the life. She did whatever she wanted to do, but she couldn't do it without my brother. So she would use my brother as her excuse. In other words, if she wanted to go to a party or to the lake with her friends to spend the day, or maybe spend the weekend as she got older. She wasn't allowed, except if she said she wanted to take my brother to the lake or to whatever the function was, then she was allowed to do it. So her and her friends would take my brother, they would just stick him somewhere and give him whatever he wanted, all the candy, pop, snacks, whatever. He could do whatever he wanted, stay up all night to keep his mouth shut, and they had fun. Well, unfortunately, I was never invited, ever. And I think I can understand why now. I was more of the goody-two-shoes kid. I tried to do everything right. I never wanted to break a rule. I never skipped school. I didn't do things that were in disobedience to what my parents allowed us or not allowed us to do. I just followed the rules. I was so afraid of committing a sin, even though we all sin every day, 
but that was a big part of my life. My dad was a very strict Roman Catholic, and my mother wasn't. She was, I think, Lutheran, but she didn't go to any church. But, you know, the Catholics go to church all the time, and back then you went every day. So we were raised Catholic, and I just turned out to be that Catholic girl. I just took everything very seriously and didn't want to go against what I had been taught. So I was slated to be the nun. I would become Sister Ida Marie, go to the convent and be the nun in the family because there, there were others. Well, I did not become a nun, obviously, but I lived like I was going to become one. And my sister and brother just enjoyed life like normal kids, normal teens, did everything that most people do, uh, sneak and do something you're not allowed to do or say you're going to your friend Susie's house and really you're doing something else. You know, that's normal. That's just normal. I was not normal. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that, but truly I was not. I just led a sheltered life. I was home a lot. I didn't go places. I didn't do things with my friends. I didn't try things or experience things. I just didn't do any of that. And I I don't have anybody to blame. I'm not blaming my upbringing. It's just the way that I took it. I took everything very seriously. And I was such a daddy's girl, 100%. And I wanted to do everything to please him. And I thought that I was. Now, he didn't require these things of me. He never said anything directly to me. I mean, it was fine for my brother and sister, so I'm sure it would have been fine for me. But I wanted to be just that perfect daughter because I just loved him dearly. Now, my brother, he was a mama's boy. Not that he wanted to be or he acted like one, but he was to my mother. He was her baby. He's the youngest, he's the only boy, and he could do no wrong. He could walk on water, he could get away with anything from her. My sister, she's always been her own person, a free spirit. She wasn't necessarily closer to my mother or my father. She just did her own thing, and she really enjoyed her life. My brother and sister, of course, are still alive, as is my ma. My dad died at 50, I think it was 54 years old. It was 40 years ago. He just dropped dead driving to work. It was just instantaneously. He had no health problems that anybody was aware of, but then they didn't doctor. They, they didn't go to the doctors. They never had their blood pressure checked or anything, got any kind of shots or vaccines or stuff like that. They just didn't, didn't do those things. And uh, medical terms and, and sicknesses were not mentioned in our house. The word headache, I never heard growing up in my home. To this day, I say I've never had a headache because I really don't know what one feels like. There were never aspirin in the house, anything like that. If we had a cold or anything, they did home remedies like mustard plasters on your chest if you had a chest cold and that Vicks Vapo rub that smelled horrible and, you know, they put it up our noses and, ugh. It was nasty. My dad worked in the carpet business. He managed carpet stores and sold carpet. My mother was in the fashion industry. 
She worked in fashion for 50 years and just absolutely loved it and was a walking fashion plate. My brother, my sister, and myself all ended up owning our own businesses. My brother, he owned a commercial glass business and glazing business. My sister owned her own beauty salon from the time she got out of beauty school until she retired in her early 50s. And I have a medical billing company. We're all different. My brother lives in the woods. He loves the woods. He always has loved the woods. He loves to hunt. He loves to fish. He lives way out in the country. He's more of a recluse. He doesn't like neighbors and people all around him and all that. He's just more private. He likes campfires and hanging out outside at night uh, around a campfire and that sort of thing. And he just wears jeans, boots, and t-shirts. That's his, his uniform and always has been. My sister is very social and always has been. She's been involved in many things. She used to race her Corvette. She's in the Corvette club. She's uh, went to woodworking classes and learned to make furniture. She was a foreign exchange uh, student host. So she's hosted, I don't know, four or five different students through high school from different countries. She's always been involved in many, many things. I, on the other hand, am not like either one of them. I'm not a, a camping, live in the woods person, and I'm not a real social person. I never belonged to clubs and uh, go to luncheons and gotten real involved in the communities and things like that. I just kind of led a more quiet life. I'm more of a homebody. And so we're all different. I moved away from home, which was Pennsylvania, when I was 18 years old. And I never went back. I mean, to live there. Of course, I went back to visit, but I never returned to live there. My brother, sister, mother, and dad stayed there. My brother is still there. My mother was there until she fell almost four years ago now and ended up in a nursing home and we brought her down here with us. My sister is still there. However, she is moving here to South Carolina to the same community I'm in a half a mile away. They bought a house here three years ago, but they just haven't moved here yet, but I think they're making their final move in November. So she will be here. And the times that she's come for like six months at a time or a month at a time, uh, we've just had a great time together. We never really spent time together before because she thought I was a fuddy-duddy and a prude and no fun and she was the life of the party. So. She didn't want me around because she thought I would tell on her, you know, for what she was doing. And she did it all. And so we never really were close growing up or hung out and shared anything. And then, of course, I moved away and that we just didn't have that relationship. But now, since she has been coming down here, for a few months at a time for the last three years. Wow, it's been wonderful. We have a good relationship. We have fun together. There are many ways that we're a lot alike. We still have our differences. I mean, those same differences we had growing up, those are still there because we have two totally different personalities. But we're just alike in some ways, too. And we've had so much fun when she was here, you know, shopping and just hanging out together. So I'm really looking forward to having this time with her 
every day when she moves here permanently. My brother has come down a couple times. He's, like I said, he's more private, but I have a very good relationship with my brother. I'm very close to him. I have great admiration and respect for him, and he's just a fantastic person. He would give anybody the shirt off his back. Well, I could go on and on, but I won't because I don't want the video to be too long. But I wanted to give you a little bit of information about me since it was requested. And I'll do more videos because people want to know other things to get to know me better and more about my personal life. So I'll be doing more of these videos. But this is the, the first one I decided to do, just to give you an idea of my background and how I grew up. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today is on the word religion, because I grew up with that. I don't think people use that so much anymore. But back in the day, you had a religion. You were Catholic, you were Methodist, you were Lutheran, you were Pentecostal, whatever it may be. And I just told you in my video that I was raised Catholic and very strict Catholic. I went to Catholic schools, wore the uniforms, went to Mass every morning before school, the whole nine yards. And when I got older, I'm going to say probably in my 30s, I broke away, early 30s, I broke away from the Catholic Church. And then I was just kind of lost. I, I went nowhere. Then I went to a non-denominational church and loved it. And that's the church of my choice ever since. I no longer believe in a religion, so to speak. I believe in faith. I believe in Christianity. I believe in love for God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have all the beliefs, but it's not boxed in anymore in a religion or a religious group. It's okay if, if you like that and that's what you choose. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I had to make that break because I no longer believed in all the principles and guidelines and everything that were dictated by the church. And maybe someday I'll do a video and explain why I feel that way and why I broke away. The bottom line is believe in something. I choose to believe in God. That is my grounding in my life. I believe in heaven. I believe in the Bible. I believe all the teachings. I have a faith. I have a belief. And that belief teaches me character, honesty, decency, forgiveness, and the list goes on and on. So whatever you choose for your life, just put everything you have into it. Make it count. Because we only go around once. We're only here for really a short time in comparison to all of eternity. And I just felt I needed to share this because I said I was raised very strict Catholic. Well, I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed getting to know a little more about me. I'm open to any requests or topics that you would like me to talk on. 
Uh, well, until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!